Okay guys, so I am on a journey to lose 80 to 90 pounds. I am about to let you guys know how much I've lost already and what I'm doing to lose it. Hey healthy babes, welcome back. If you're new, my name is Diana. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm a wife and mama four, and my channel is all about motherhood and self-care. And now I'm about to bring you guys along on my mommy snapback 2021 journey. If you like all that, make sure you stop, subscribe down below, hit the bell, and let's roll. Okay, so my starting weight on Friday, January 1st was 258 pounds. Um, no, this is not my heaviest, but um, it's kind of been where i've teeter totted back and forth from since giving birth to my last baby who is now two years old okay and currently i weigh 246 pounds um give or take a little bit because it is that time of the month but that is where i am as of today january friday january 22nd i have lost a total of 12 pounds and eight inches in just three weeks but before I tell you guys what I am doing, make sure you hit that bell because I am going to be uploading weekly to update you guys on my weight loss journey and let you know exactly what I am eating and what workouts I am doing. I was also challenged by my friend Micro Zen to do a hundred sit-ups a day over the next 30 days. So I'm going to be showing you guys my before and afters um, from that challenge. Um, she's uploading weekly to let you guys know what's going on on her weight loss journey as well. So make sure you check out her channel down below in the description because uh, we're going to be doing a lot of collabs. And she's kind of just like my accountability partner right now, which accountability is key, guys. You can also hold yourself accountable, but I feel like it is major when you're on a weight loss journey um, with sticking to it. So I'm about to get ready to show you guys my before pictures. Um, now, so you guys can see what I look like and every week I'm going to do a weigh in for you guys and show you what I've done for that week. Okay. So here is my before photos. Um, this, these were taken uh, shortly before the new year and this is what I look like today. Look at the difference in my waist. I lost so many inches around my bust area, like my upper belly. Here's just another side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, so now let's get into how I have lost 12 pounds in just three weeks. I'm super excited um, to tell you guys what I've been doing over the last 21 days. When I tell y'all I have tried every diet, um, I'm thinking about doing a review because I feel like I have tried ISO tea, I have tried Herbalife, I have tried Keto, uh, I have try them all so i'm excited to be able to pretty much tell you guys what has worked and what has not worked thus far let's get into what i have been doing i have cut out all meat all dairy all processed foods um i really was doing something like the daniel fast but a little bit more stricter because i'm not eating potatoes for the first 30 days i'm not eating any starches like corn or rice oatmeal any carbs really besides fruits and y'all know that's not keto friendly but i have to have my fruit because i feel like fruit just gives me the sugar that i need and it also gives me lots of water to keep me feeling full and saturated so most of all my meals that i eat have a side of fruit to them and mostly berries not really anything crazy but to each his own because it's working for me but i've also been intermittent fasting um and i feel like that has helped me not be so hungry and helped me not feel the need to eat as much however i do want to move my eating time back a little bit so at least by 11 i've barely been eating by 1 p.m every day so how i break my fast is my husband um no sense jay he's on youtube as no sense jay but my husband makes me a shot uh, that has lemon juice apple cider vinegar cayenne ginger cinnamon and nutmeg really spicy like crazy fat burner but i just 
take it to the head real quick in the morning and move on. Then I take my vitamins for today. Um, and I share all of this in my Instagram story. So if you're not following me on social media, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Diana's for reasons. And you can kind of see what I'm doing on a daily basis. Um, after I take my shot, take my vitamins, I have a smoothie. My smoothie always has a banana and some berries in it, spinach and kale, and a little bit of honey just to add a little bit of flavor and water. I don't add any almond milk. Um, some days I'll add in a little bit of uh, plant-based uh, protein just because I'm not eating meat right now. So some days I add that to my smoothie and I also have, um, some greens that I add in there just to make sure I'm getting all of my daily veggies, servings of veggies that I need. Um, my lunch is usually a very small lunch. See the kale salad or um, I may just have an apple with some nuts and that's enough for lunch for me because I am I really don't be hungry after I drink like that huge smoothie. Um, and for dinner, uh, if I get hungry in between lunch and dinner the only thing i really snack on again is some fruit or some nuts celery or some um snap peas or some cucumbers so it's either fruit and nuts or some, uh, some veggies things like that um i kind of don't even call it lunch i just eat whatever it is at that time of the day the last meal of the day um is usually where i steam some veggies or i take a little oil and saute my veggies or cauliflower rice. Y'all, cauliflower rice gives me this amazing feeling like I am eating some fried rice, some veggie fried rice. And that's what I make for dinner a lot. Um, I've also been eating like spaghetti squash um, bowls and I've been sharing that recipe on my TikTok and Instagram. So I'll share that down below. Um, if y'all want me to do a what I eat in a day video, just let me know because I don't mind doing that either if you guys are interested. But y'all got to like and comment and let me know if y'all want me to do that. Um, but yeah, I have some squash, spaghetti squash bowls that I make and I fill them with all type of stuff. Mushrooms, spinach, broccoli, um, a little bit of vegan cheese. That's probably the only processed thing that I eat and that's because y'all, I love cheese. So cutting cheese out of my diet was the hardest thing for me to do. So that's pretty much what I've been doing every day. I've been just stretching, doing a little bit of yoga and eating right. And I have lost 12 pounds and I have not been working out. Um, though I am going to incorporate working out and of course do this sit up challenge with micro Zen. I'm excited to try that. Um, but other than that, I just been allowing my body to detox and heal and get rid of inflammation. So I didn't want to um, do anything too strenuous while I'm trying to get rid of um inflammation in my body and heal my body from the inside out so i'm excited to bring you guys along for the journey so if you like this video again make sure you thumbs up if you're ready to go on this journey with me make sure you subscribe and until next time stay healthy